Hi everybody, Dan Ullman here with the DRF race of the day for Monday, August the 29th. It's race number two at Asinoboya Downs. This is an optional claiming race for fillies and mares going five and a half furlongs. $15,000 is the optional claiming price. I'll be back with the full preview in 15 seconds. Want to view free formulator past performances for this race? Head to the race of the day page at drf.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the Daily Racing Form YouTube channel and bet this card with DRF Bets. Here's the field for race number two at Asinoboya Downs. Again, we're going five and a half furlongs. Please scan the QR code for race of the day access on your mobile device. It's a pretty big evening at the Downs on Monday. Race number one is a stakes race. Race two is our DRF race of the day. Race number four kicks off the $1 pick four with a $50,000 guaranteed pool. Race number three is the opening leg of the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five. Carryover of over $209,000 into the jackpot pick five on Monday evening. Let's throw up the time form U.S. pace projector for race number two at the Downs. Not expecting this race to be run at a fast clip. I agree with time form U.S. on that. I think it is a blue bar scenario that could favor horses on or near the early lead. I do think the three French Rose is adaptable from a pace standpoint. She was up close to the pace last time out when earning a victory at the Downs. She's off the claim. She should be close to the pace again. Horses like the five Ragtag Tag, the four Wits Tenny Ten, these are horses with tactical speed, don't necessarily need the lead. There are no blazers in here. I do think the three is going to be close to the pace. Now, a filly that would would appreciate some hitting up fronts the number one a lot of spunk who made her downs debut 20 days ago with a very visually impressive performance let's watch that effort going three quarters of a mile and she's near the back of the pack behind a contested pace got to the outside on the turn and as you see she wins very easily in only ridden out fashion she's getting away from this field 68 buyer speed figure very solid for this level and she sort of backed the races up that she ran in the united states where she was competitive at racetracks like keeneland and fairgrounds at Churchill Downs. She ran against some good horses in the States, and she looked good in her Downs debut. Now she'll need a little bit of pace. She's cutting back to five and a half furlongs, but I would expect another good, strong late run for the number one, a lot of spunk. The two is Daniela Bella. A winner three starts back going five-eighths of a mile, and maybe she was in tough two starts back. They stepped her up in a stakes race, and they stepped her up in distance to seven and a half furlongs, and she really didn't fire. She got banged around leaving the gate, banged around on the first turn. She lost ground in a race where I thought she could be a little bit closer to the pace, and she passed some tired horses in the stretch. She got the class drop she needed last time out when she was in against French Rose, and she just did not fire at all. It was a very disappointing effort. She's a lot better than that three buyer speed figure, and the price is going to be right in this race. She's 12 to 1 on the morning line. It's just that last race, it's very hard to make an excuse for. Perhaps turning all the way back to five and a half will help her out, but she's another one that needs some pace, and I'm a little bit worried about her current form. French Rose is the three, a seven-time winner. She has won three of her past five starts at the Downs, including this race on August the 2nd, a race in which she got right up close to the pace, and she beat three of these foes. She sprints on home to win by almost two lengths with a respectable 66 buyer. She earned a 73 buyer speed figure three starts back. Her tactical speed makes her very tough. She is a deserving seven to five morning line favorite. She travels extremely well at the Downs, and turning back from six to five and a half shouldn't work against her. I think because there's not a ton of speed in this race, it's not like she's going to be out sprinted, cutting back slightly in distance. I think she'll be right there when the real racing begins. The four is Wits Tenny Ten. We just saw her finish second to French Rose in that allowance race, and this filly's done no wrong since returning to the Downs from Lone Star Park. Three starts this meet. She hit the board in all of them. It was a solid effort last time out, sort of making a mid move into French Rose and then staying on gamely for second. She uh, had has some tactical speed. She draws outside the favorite. I would expect her to be pretty forwardly placed, trying to make a bold run on the second turn into the favorite's pace once again. Uh, she's very, very logical and consistent. Maybe she needs to take a slight step forward. The number five in here is Ragatag Tag, and Ragatag Tag finished seventh last time out, but that was a seven for a long race. It was maybe a little bit too tough for her as well. The fourth place finisher of that heat came back to win a $10,000 beaten claimer with a 48 buyer speed figure. While her buyer went down last time out, look at her races two and three back. Two starts back, she was beaten by French Rose, but she ran okay for third, earned a 60 buyer. She earned a 68 buyer speed figure three starts back when she got the better of French Rose at a big price. Now, French Rose seems to be in slightly better form. Her buyers have gone down rag tag tag in her last couple of races, but I like her cutting back to this five and a half furlong distance. I think she's going to be very comfortable. She is hit the exact in 21 of 38 starts, and she'll be a playable price 
in this heat. Before we get to my top selection, please click the subscribe button on the Daily Racing Forum YouTube channel for all the latest DRF TV video offerings. Top pick time at the downs. I do respect French Rose in here. I think her tactical speed gives her a little bit of an edge, but I love the way the number one, a lot of spunk, was able to rally in her downs debut, and I think she can do it again from off of the pace. 68 buyer in her downs debut against similar foes. I think she can handle this field if she gets a little bit to run at in the stretch. I'm going one three four five in the Monday DRF Race of the Day, race number two at Asinaboya Downs. Best of luck.